Oh, it was a it was a big win for the team. Uh, IUPUI is a very good team, very talented, well coached. Uh, they're going to be t they're going to be fighting for a league championship. So um, to be able to play like we did at home in front of a great crowd, I was very thankful for all the crowd that showed up and they were loud down the stretch. It was it was a lot of fun. Coach, what's going through your mind after not even scoring a point in the first six minutes and two seconds of the game? Um. Well, you look up and we're only down six or something at the time. So I thought defensively we played really tough, you know, hold the, hold them to 52 points. They're one of the, the I think, the second leading scoring team in the co conference. So uh, I was kind of happy that we weren't down by more. Uh, um, you know, we had some close shots that didn't go in and tried not to worry about it. It's a long game, so just got to stick with the course. John, what adjustments did your team make after those first 10 minutes? Because inside they were... We, we really just, you know, for them to score six points in, in six minutes isn't a ton, you know, six or seven points. So we didn't change up a whole lot. The hardest part was getting in foul trouble. You know, both teams had a ton of foul trouble in the first half. And so adjusting, you know, who, who, who's guarding who, we're, we're small. I, I mean, I think, well, Mary, Sarah Cash, and Amara all had two, and we're all on the bench. That's all of our size. So... To try to weather that storm was a little bit difficult, but I thought, um, you know, the, the subs came in and battled extremely tough to get us through. I think we had a six-point lead at half, and with all those players coming back, I thought we could make a run there in the second half. What do you say about the mentality of this team? You know, a six, I think it was a 16-6 run after that slow start. I think it was 10-5 and then a 16-6 run. Yeah. You know, maybe in the past, you know, it gets worse for, as far as that deficit, but I mean, you guys rallied and played really, really well. We've, we talked since since summer, since the team got here, you know, being tough, being mentally tough and not worrying about, you know, the, the, the things that are going wrong or, you know, getting too high on the, on the good end. We're just trying to stay, stay level-headed no matter what's going on, and I thought the team did a good job of that. We, we didn't come out super mentally sharp. We let some things happen that we didn't really want to um, in terms of the, the executing the game plan, but... We really settled down throughout the, the second quarter and the second half. I thought mentally we played a much better uh, better half. You know, speaking of defense, you know, post defense, I mean, the last two games you've held two of the better post players, nine today, and Brittany Bird to zero on Thursday. I mean, how proud are you of what tomorrow <coughs> Mary and Sarah have been able to do that with? You know, they're doing a great job. They're battling, you know, extremely hard. I think. Sometimes you don't realize like the guards are, you know, on the weak side having to be in and out if, you know, they they could be guarding really good players, but they got to help, you know, for any lob and, and, and gaps and different things. So Amara and Sarah and, and Mary are doing a great job, but the guards are also there to back them up a lot too. So it's, it's definitely a team effort. It was like to see Allison get the record set. I mean, you've seen it twice already, like about a year or so. And yeah. I thought Al was just a great game. They they were all over her. They were you know bumping her, grabbing her, you know, which which is it's part of the game. You know, they're they're trying to do whatever they can to take her out of the game, and she didn't let that affect her at all. And if she had any space, she was she was knocking it down. Second half, uh, just kind of shot us to victory. Uh, you know, no pun intended, but she really she played great. Did you know about? I'm sure you knew about it before the game, but I mean during. I really didn't. I, I knew she was getting there, but I, you know, I, I, I don't know how much any of us pay attention to that. It's, it's a very unselfish team. They really don't care. One day it's Al, one day it's Cash, one day it's Mary, one day it's Chelsea. Uh, that's what makes it so fun, and they're all into it and playing hard and having a good time. And you know, it was somebody had asked me about um, you know going into the locker room after. I mean, I could hear them outside the hall, you know, cheering and dancing, and um, that makes it really fun. Statement to the league maybe today with, with type of win like this? It's a long season. You know, it's a long season. I think it was a good win for us. Uh, you know, we get this win, and now we're on the road to Milwaukee and Green Bay, who are, who are both very, very talented, good, tough teams. And we're going to enjoy this one and then, you know, get back to work and prepare like we have been and um, – hopefully find a way to get one more point to, to beat Milwaukee. So. so this was a win 250 for Coach. I don't know if you knew that or not, so congratulations. I, did, I, I, I knew it after. I didn't uh, – thank you. I mean, I'm – Also, uh, he passed Joyce Ramsey for number two now on the all-time list. So I don't know if there's anything regarding that.
What's that when you hear about as far as on top of that list? I mean, this program is starting to get better and better and building and building. You know, what does that mean for you to, to <laughs> get the wins? But yeah, you know, I, I'm sure I mean, it's not. it's it's. An, I'm happy for the school. I'm happy for the program. Coach DeGregorio and and what he did and the community's support behind him and the program back then, and then to kind of go through some years that were a little tough to, to live through. And, uh, you know, a lot of our fans and boosters, you know, were in the stands every game through those tough years too. And uh, so for, to have the program kind of headed in a, in a good direction and winning some games and, you know, making them happy, and uh, it's, it's nice in that sense.